Hey everybody, this is Damon and welcome back to Monster Loves You. Let's see, where were we with this? Oh yeah, being an evil monster of the greatest power and authority. <laughs> Adventure. Yes. Mm, what is this? Someone's getting hurt. Ooh, that's a creepy picture. <sighs> How'd you like to see that in the middle of the night, looking at you from your closet? It's never happened to me. Or has it? Elder Jaggery. <laughs> Jaggery. Walks into the cave, rocking from foot to foot. He howls and slams the wall, then falls unmoving to the floor. Monsterlings scatter away from his still form. Examine him closely. Stand back and observe for a moment. Someone's gotta help him. Do it. Do it. Examine him closely. You've never seen a monster look this hurt before. Usually you can get smashed to a pulp and be up on your feet again by dinner time. Jackery's body is really damaged. That's scary. Elder Jaggery walks into the cave, rocking from... What? Okay. Uh... Someone's gotta help him. Do it. You creep over afraid but determined and see a human's metal knife stuck in Jaggery's back. He's leaking from the wound. You think he might die before you before help can get there. Pull out the knife. Run, get help. Uh Scary humans, man. What what douches? Pull out the knife, of course. Advanced neurosurgery. Kindness, bravery, you grasp the knife in your little claws and pull, then rock it back and forth. <laughs> back and forth and pull some more. A gush of red covers you, but Jaggery starts to breathe normally. Okay. Whatever. I just wanted to kill him. Steal his powers for myself. Hamrag, an older monster, brings a big sack full of squirming rats in the cave. Ew, they're rattish. <clears throat> As he heads for this spawning bat, he trips and all the rats spill out onto the floor. No! <clears throat> Help some poor rats escape. Help Hamrag catch them. Gobble up some rats. You block the escape of a dozen rats. Other monsterlings are closing in, but you have control of this group for now. How many will you eat? As many as you can. Yes. You have to fight some of the other aggressive monsterlings before Hamrag is back on his feet. You filled your belly to bursting. Mwahaha. I eat the rats. Oh my. You wake up and find that you're no longer a little monstering. Monsterling, you're growing up. Wow! Yay! Elder Marinus calls the oldest monsterlings to gather in a group. You're one of the oldest ones now, so you should join them. She looks grave. Go with Elder Marinus. Hide and watch. See what's going on. I'm gonna go. I'm not afraid. Marinus shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way and that among dozens of forking passages. Keep going. Marinus stops in a warm, humid chamber with a pit in the floor. She points to the pit, which sees with thick mist. Jump right in. Wait for her to make you go. I'm gonna jump right in. You fall and fall some more. And fall. And you're falling? And other monsterlings are falling? Yes, some of them are crying. And you can't see through the mist. Or is it fog? Maybe clouds? Moans and groans, whispering screams. Eee! Where is this? It must be somewhere. You land on smooth, flat stone. Despite the swirling vapor, the floor is dry as a bone. You hear other monsterlings breathing nearby. Some are still above you, still falling. Get out of the way. I'm gonna get out of the way. You rejoin some of the monsterlings at the edge of the mist. There are more passages out there than you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic while others look determined. Hmm. You should take charge. The other monsterlings watch you curious. Lead the way personally. Slash the others to show them you're in charge. Rawr, I'm in charge! 
A half-seen monsterling whimpers in the fog, and you flick your claws, drawing a little blood and a lot of noise. A few howls and shriek, cow the others in their silence. Explore in an orderly fashion now that summons in control. You soon discover that all the passages converge in yet another mist-filled chambers. The mist here is even thicker, and you quickly lose sight of the other monsterlings. That's okay, they're cowards anyways. The chamber swirls with mist, f smoke, fog, vapor, except it's not any of those things. It's ghosts! Hundreds of them! Large and small, they're everywhere! Ooh, spooky! One by one, the pale ghosts begin to turn their attention to you. Their eyes glow different colors. Stand fast! You can't touch me! The ghosts speak in many voices, all hollow and distant. All in unison, they ask you, Do you fear? Yes, this is scary! Attack them. Wait and say nothing. Wait and say nothing. The ghosts stare into you, stare into and through you as though you're the one made a mist. One sharp voice speaks from behind you. Why are you here? Lecture the ghosts about the monster life cycle. Attack them. I'm gonna attack them. You scream and leap. The ghosts are insubstantial, swirling around your claws like nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nothing at all! Stupid spectral monsters! They laugh at you and prove that they are not entirely untouchable. Thin tendrils of mist circle your throat and begin to squeeze. Pass out? Huh? End of monsterlinghood. Here's what you're doing 100% ferocity. Oh yeah! Yep! Yep, that's me. Ferocious. You wake up inside a well-appointed hovel. This is your home now. What should you be doing now? The more brave, clever, ferocious, kind, and honest you are, the more other monsters will grow to respect you. Gain enough respect and you might someday affect important world events. Okay. I'ma be important. Yay! You wake up inside a well-appointed hovel. This is uh, blah blah. Start living as, as an adolescent monster. Is that me? Is that me? Okay. <laughs> I look dumb. Choose your adventure. Eh. The goat. My old nemesis. Of course it is. Bleeding is what goats do. Well, good. The scapegoat walks out of its pit, looks around, and bleats again. Nash Nash says, it wants a fight. Let's give one a fight. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah, fight. Nash Nash shoves you aside and charges at the scapegoat. The goat stares at her. Help Nash Nash fight the goat. Stop Nash Nash from fighting the goat. Uh, help Nash Nash fight the goat. Kindness minus four. You plant yourself on one side of the scapegoat and Nash Nash takes a flanking position. The goat just stands there. Get it! Beat up the goat! Nash and Ash claws at the goat's side. The goat turns and gores her with its horns, and you slash it while it's distracted. Pursue the conflict to its bloody end. The goat whirls back and forth, trying to butt or kick you, but every time it goes after one of you, the other monster gets in a strike. Laugh at the scapegoat. Mwahahahaha! Elder Marinus rolls into the fight, jabbing you and Nash and Ash with their spines. She roars. What are you doing? And bears her claws. Flee. Fight Elder Marinus. What are you doing? That is insane. Apologize. To fight Elder Marinus. It's hardly a fight at all. Marinus puffs up again, jabbing you with her venomous spines, and you spend the rest of the day dizzy and sickly. What about Nash Nash? Nash Nash is punished much worse than you. She poisoned. She's poisoned, but the elders also pull out her claws, which make all weak to grow back. Eee. Ouch. Ouchy, ouch. Hey, look at that. I got full ferocity. Nice. That looks like an attack thingy. You guys didn't know, I'm just going like full bore evil kill everything I see monster. Okay, that's just what I'm going to do. Today's a holiday. Poke the bear day. Hey, poke the bear day, everybody. What's the date today? What's the date today? 
It's the 21st of February. From now on, today is Poke the Bear Day. However you wish to celebrate, celebrate that is up to you, unless we figure out something in the future, but today is Poke the Bear Day. Monsters have been planning pranks for days. You all head out to the bear caves. Poke the Bear Day? What's that? It's a day when the elders take younger monsters to show their ferocity by taunting and bothering an especially big, strong pack of talking bears. Okay. Let's do it! You join the crowd of monsters, shuffling, walking, skipping, and scuttling through the woods. Soon you have reached the caves. The bears are already outside, waiting and watching. Poke the biggest th bear with your sharpest stick. Fight! Use bear with your... Got your nose routine. Find out if bears sneeze. Chase the bear into a thorn bush. Fight! It's a mess of fur and fangs. When you're done, the bear has fled before your fearsome poking. You've gotten appreciative backslaps from everyone. Nash Gnash says you weren't cruel enough, though. Screw you, Gnash Gnash. You have no claws. Douche. Eh, spider. You find Blistry crouched in the forest, petting a rather furry spider. Doesn't look too good. In fact, it's not moving at all. Examine the spider. I hate spiders. The spider's gonna die. The spider is furry, but it should be much furrier. Patches of its stiff hair are falling out. Its eyes are dull and... Did it just cough? You didn't know spiders could cough. No, they can't. It's a trap! It's a trap! Encourage Blistry and move on. Help Blistry help the spider. Prod the spider awake. With a stick? You poke at it with a big stick, then a smaller stick, then your own claw, but it doesn't move. As you and Blistery walk away, you could swear you hear it say, Rosebud. Rosebud, was that something? Huh. I feel like that was something. If anyone remembers any references to Rosebud, put it in the comments below, because I don't remember, but that sounds familiar. Anyways, you're heading home with a dead rabbit you found. Suddenly, a fox appears. He sidles up to you and asks, You going to eat all that? Examine the fox. Most talking foxes are fatter and better fed than their stupid cousins, but this one is lean. You can see his ribs under his unkempt fur. Hmm, you're clearly no ordinary facts. Hand over the whole rabbit. Uh, share the rabbit with the fox. Make him watch you eat it. The fox sits attentively as you raise the rabbit, but instead of splitting it, you take a bite, then another, and then the rabbit is gone. You shoot the fox a rabbit-eating grin, and he walks away, stiff with wounded dignity. Throw a big rock after him. Throw lots of small rocks after him. Chase him down and eat him too! Rawr! You leap onto the fox's back, catch hold of its tail, and tear him apart with your claws. He's not as tasty as rabbit, but he is satisfying. Mmm. I wonder what that fox said. <laughs> He's dead. He didn't say anything. Gosh. Country road looking thing. It's such a nice day today. Perfect weather to wander outside of town. Though you're not really supposed to leave Omen until you're older. Walk the forest past nearish Omen. Just take a nap in the sun right here in Portent Square. I'm gonna walk the paths. I'm so brave. What glorious weather! The sun is shining, the birds are singing, squirrels are squirreling things away in their squirrel homes of squirrels. Keep walking, why not? You really don't see why young monsters are supposed to stay in the town. What's going to hurt you out here? A squirrel? A tree? Keep walking on the path. Hey, what was that? You think you see a bear? Or is it a human? <gasps> human! Humans are evil! Evil! Or am I evil? I don't know. Oh, it was just a twig snapping. Everything's fine. That could be trouble. Turn around and go home. Oh, it's just a twig. More bravery. You soon forget the sound of the snapping twig. It was probably a friendly badger or a clumsy bear. Silly old bear. Stepping on. Snap! There it is again. Better go home. No, it's fine. Keep walking. <laughs> they ain't gonna scare me. You hear this sound again, then two more times in rapid succession. Something is behind you, under the cover of the trees! Get out of there, monster! Get ready for a fight! You can beat any animal in these woods. 
It's a human carrying a weapon. Oh, frick! Made of wood and string. Is she? She used the weapon to fling another thing in your direction. Ah! No! Oh, frick. Okay. The sharp thing jabs into you and you shriek. The pain is worse than any claw or tooth. But it's not a deadly wound, but it eats at your body and mind. Hide in the trees. No time to be sneaky. Run for it. Uh. Hide in the trees. You duck into another row of trees and stay out of sight. The human flings two more wooden things in your general direction, but you stay quiet and she moves on. Run home as soon as it's safe. You manage to hightail it out of there with your hide intact. You tell your friends who shudder at the account. Ooh. Okay. So, humans suck. Humans are the bad guys. We need to kill all the humans. That's my, that's my, we're gonna kill all the humans. Screw you guys. You're all gonna die. Greed Blitz walks past your stoop. He stops, coughs, and tilts his head, proudly showing off his Bayes Paul hat. <laughs> his Bayes Paul hat? It makes him look ridiculous. What's Bayes Paul? Some human sport involving large wooden bats. It's something you can see making an appearance in monster culture. Okay. Ask him about that. Be polite and non-committal. Tell him it looks spectacular. It doesn't. <laughs> you tell him it makes him look as smart as a human. Greedbits roars. No, it's just nice. It's a Bayes Paul hat. And stalks away. Bayes Paul. Oh yeah. I, I actually don't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Bayes Paul. Whatever Bayes Paul is. I don't think I'd wear a hat of Bayes Paul. Nash Nash is picking on the tiny blistery. She gets knocked down every time she gets up. Nash Nash asks if you want to help. Ask why she's doing that to blistery. Walk away, Nash Nash is insane. Help Nash Nash search. I'd rather fight you, Nash Nash. Uh, I want to kill Nash Nash. She's been questioning my authority since day one. Even without a thanks, Bliss Tree runs away, leaving you and Nash Nash to tussle in the street. Do you push the attack? Yes. Claw, bite, kick. Nash Nash is savage, but she's tired herself out and you're full of energy. You beat Nash Nash to a pulp. Nash Nash pants. I'm impressive. Oh, M? M. Impressive. Okay. Whatever. Well, anyways, that look, looks like all the time I have for this episode. I only have two days left of young adulthood. So, anyways, um, not too sure if you guys are liking this series or not. It's a little bit fun, but it's not quite as, you know, fun to play, I guess, as the other games. But it's funny to read. So, if you guys like my narrations, narrations and me reading it, um... Tell me so, and I will see what I can do. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will please wait. No, wait, wait. I almost forgot. Please like and subscribe because I am in deathly need of people watching my videos so that I can make better videos. Because without people telling me what to make, I don't know what to do. Please boss me around and tell me what to do. It's the only reason why I get up in the morning is to be boss around. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!